Hey, this is attorney Elizabeth Potts Weinstein. And today we're going to talk about whether or not you should get a trademark in 2023. So what I'm talking about is a trademark, which is something to protect really the branding of your business. And specifically, I'm talking about applying for a trademark that would be registered with the United States Patent and Trademark Office. Should you consider doing that this year? So let's break down some of the top reasons you may want to get a trademark this year. The first is if you want to license out your brand to others. So if you're creating a system or a package or you have some artistic patterns or something that you're going to license to some other company to use in their business, then you would want a trademark to protect the brand part of that thing that you're going to license. You may also want other intellectual property too. You may want a patent, you may want copyrights over artistic works, but a trademark is going to be part of the package that you're going to be licensing to others. The second reason is if you want to sell your business or get funding from outsiders. So if you're thinking you're going to start pitching venture capital or looking for other kinds of investors, or if you're trying to create a business to sell someday, having a registered trademark or even multiple trademarks marks is going to increase the value of your business and make it easier to do those pitches or to sell the business later. The third reason is to just appear more legit. This is kind of a marketing reason to have a registered trademark. By having more formal branding strategy, it makes your business look bigger. It makes your business look like a real business, a real company versus somebody who's not actively protecting their intellectual properties. A fourth reason is just because you're risk averse. So I have a lot of clients where we're filing a trademark application because they don't want to get sued by somebody else because they don't want someone else to create the same kind of brand and then sue them. So they're doing it as kind of a defensive strategy so they don't have to worry about others coming after them because they've already protected this trademark. A fifth reason is to specifically get control over that trademark online on social media or at various marketplace facilitators. So I'm talking about you want the handle on on Twitter or Instagram or Facebook or TikTok. I'm talking about whether or not you can get that brand on Amazon. You want to do the Amazon brand registry program. By having a registered trademark, and in some cases even just having an application filed and having that application number, you can start protecting your brand on those online sites and social media sites. A sixth reason is to stop others who are copying you. So if someone else creates a website, creates a brand, starts selling products, whatever, either completely on purpose copying you, they're doing counterfeits, or just accidentally copying you, and it's confusing your customers or clients, you wanna be able to stop them. You have a little bit of rights under state law, but they're a bit more unclear and kind of murky. Whether if you have a registered trademark with the United States Patent and Trademark Office, your rights are a lot more clear and you're gonna be able to enforce that to stop others from copying you that way. Now, I do have a warning for you. It is not automatic when you apply for a trademark. This isn't something where you just fill out a form and you pay the money and you get it right away. This is where you file something and then your file is assigned to an examiner at the United States Patent and Trademark Office who will examine your file to decide if you should have that trademark. Not every trademark gets granted and it also can take a long time. So it used to be that if you file for a registered trademark, three months later they would start looking at it. It's not true today in 2023. If you file a trademark application today, I would my general rule of thumb is it's probably gonna take nine months before they open up the file and give you any feedback on it at all. Their goal is six months, but I've been seeing it being nine, 10, 11, 12 <laughs> months lately, very long time frame. So if you're thinking that you might want to register a trademark sometime in the next year, you probably wanna get that on file sooner rather than later because it's gonna be a long time for that to make it through the United States Patent and Trademark Office and you would actually have a registered trademark. Again, this is attorney Elizabeth Potts Weinstein. If you found this video helpful, hit the thumbs up button, subscribe for more videos like this, post something in the comments below if you have a question about what we've talked about today, and I'll try to point you in the right direction. If you'd like to support this channel, there are ways you can do that in the description, including joining the free Discord and also signing up for the Patreon. Thanks a lot for watching.
Bye.